वेलकम टू येट अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ मिथिकल क्वेस्ट वोजर विथ मिथिकल क्वेस्ट वोजर वी हैव बीन ब्रिंगिंग यू द स्टोरीज फ्रॉम इंडिया एंड अराउंड द वर्ल्ड दी स्टोरीज आर आइदर मिथिकल मिस्टिकल और सुपर नेचुरल बट टूडे इन दिस एपिसोड वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लोर अ बिट ऑफ अ डिफरेंट स्टोरी विच हैज बोथ सुपर नेचुरल एंड paranormal included currently i am in jaisalmer and i am visiting india's most haunted village named kulthara now you can see around that i am visiting the ruins and i am right in the heart of this village named kulthara now i want to tell you the story how everything started this village kulthara is not a single village this kulthara was built by paliwal brahmins who were very hard working people very hard working brahmins and daily wagers this village was built with another 83 villages so total of it was 84 villages across jaisalmer which was made by paliwal brahmins these guys were hard working they had a very good life they had a very intricate system of this village this township and everything was very well organized the markets temples and other things now suddenly one day something happened that this entire 84 village wiped out what was that so coming to the backdrop of the story the area in which we are now was reigned by a king whose ministers were more powerful and were in charge the king had no say at all one of the most powerful uh, minister was named as salam singh he was so powerful he was uh, what is he he was very cruel he used to put taxes he used to uh, torture these local villagers and he was also planning to dethrone the king at that time and wanted to capture the throne and become the king himself during his quest to these villages one day he landed at this very location which is known as kulthara village where he saw one very beautiful lady and it was love at first sight problem was salam singh was not a brahmin and paliwal brahmins are very conservative kind of people who do not want to marry their daughters in another caste so when salam singh got this offer the people from kulthara village they denied and they denied very politely they said that we don't do marriages in the inter caste system uh, we cannot give our daughters to a non brahmin person this made salam singh very angry he threatened villagers that you have time till next a uh, full moon and if you do not marry your daughter to me till next full moon i will make sure that i kill this entire village this is when 
the chief tents of these villages not only kuldhara but all the 84 villages which were made by paliwal brahmin they decided and they called for an urgent meeting this meeting was basically for safeguarding the daughter of their village the pride of their village and the caste of their village that is when it was decided that the entire 84 village vacate this area over there are different stories which also says that salam singh sent the entire army behind these villagers to get them killed but this is just one school of thought the another school of thought also says that that story is a made up story these paliwal brahmins they went they ventured out and they settled in some other area why go the priest of these area they cursed this village and they said that nobody going forward can again come and live here that is when this entire cursed village story started now coming to the another part where people say that it is also allegedly one of the most haunted villages of this area when i spoke to locals i got to know two things one obviously and definitely kuldhara and the surrounding areas are considered cursed there are certain documented stories on that and uh, the villagers say that it is true now coming to the story of ghosts spirits devils the demons haunting this surreal location of kuldhara what about it so the local says that this story emerged a couple of decades ago this story is not from the era of kuldhara somebody who visited kuldhara back two decades back they are the one who said that kuldhara is haunted kuldhara is possessed by the spirits and demons and they are the one who tagged kuldhara village as the haunted village and this was just based on the assumption that these guys stayed one night in this village and they claim that they had very different uh, experiences in this area during the night and uh, just to remind you at that time it was not properly uh, gated or it was not under uh, the surveillance of asi that is archaeological survey of india so it was open for all so these guys when they stayed the night at kulhara they felt certain eeriness they also felt uh, that there were people moving around they they tend to saw these uh, ectoplasms in the air they also thought that there are phantoms moving around these walls of kulhara they heard sounds they heard footsteps they heard cries and this is how the story of haunted village emerged one very fascinating story that i want to bring to my viewers before i go into exploring this village is that the locals believe that this place is cursed when i say cursed and when i talk about haunted these are two different things a place is cursed and it will not harm anyone till you not do anything here when i say till you not do anything here if you look around me i can see boulders i can see stones and i can see these remnants of the villages which are still there now if me as an ignorant person if i go and if i try to 
pull this brick down or if i want to take one stone and carry it with me as a memorabilia to my home ki okay i went to kuldhara and i got this stone locals say that that curse is going to land at your house why because you are bringing a piece of kuldhara with you back home and there are a couple of stories which i got to know from locals wherein they say that there was a couple with a kid who visited kuldhara and the lady was so fascinated by the story that she took a piece of this yellow stone or sandstone with her to hotel and the moment she enters her hotel room everyone becomes ill including the kid they went to doctor they went to hospitals but the doctors were unable to identify why was this illness and how was this illness now the driver who got them to the hotel he knew that they had visited kuldhara so this lady called this driver and asked him do you know anything uh, why such kind of things are happening and then driver asked just one thing to that lady madam did you bring anything from kuldhara she said yes i got the sandstone driver said ma'am immediately you keep that stone out of your room i'm coming to the hotel he took that stone came to kuldhara and he dropped the stone back here in kuldhara and immediately the next day the whole family was fine as if nothing had happened so there are another such stories which we hear from locals claiming about kuldhara being cursed so definitely when i look around and i see the village i feel that maybe there is some truth to the story because out of 84 villages 82 villages are now civilized again but there are only two villages that is kuldhara village and there is an adjacent village to kuldhara these are the only two villages which never got civilized people try building homes here and the interesting story is whenever they try to build the roof the roof tend to fall down not a single house in kuldhara has roof it all fell down if you visit kuldhara today you will see certain uh, replicas of kuldhara village which are built for tourism purposes these are built from a different stone these are stones brought from outside they are not originally from kuldhara that is why these stones are not cursed and that is why you can see roof and the entire structure here but again if today someone wants to live or stay in this government uh led structures or government built buildings they are going to face the same curse because as per the history as per the story nobody can stay in kuldhara you can visit kuldhara you can have couple of photographs but you cannot live in kuldhara if you are coming to kuldhara for a living purpose you are going to fail 100% because the curse of kuldhara is not going to make you live here okay so let's do a walk through of the kuldhara village as you can see these are the ruins of kuldhara village these are yellow sandstones and this is used or this was used to build kuldhara back many centuries ago today it stands completely in ruins and is surrounded by barren land and a very minimal jungle kind of thing kuldhara is secluded kuldhara is away from any habited location so obviously there are dangers of wild animals anti social elements and other stuffs but i'm sure as i'm walking on these highways or as i'm walking on these roads of kuldhara i don't feel that it is haunted 
I can feel the pain that are there on these walls of Kolkata. Why? It takes so much of pain to build a house. Imagine the pain it would have taken to build such a vast village which had to be left overnight just because of the cruelty or the bad eye or the bad intentions of Salam Singh. To safeguard the pride of their daughter, to safeguard the caste, the dignity they have in calling themselves as Paliwal Brahmins, they had to take this step and they had to safeguard their daughter. And that is why they thought it is better to leave Kuldhara than to give their daughter to a person who is neither Brahmin and who is not human by heart. This is the tragic story of Kuldhara and these are the remnants of that tragic story. Kuldhara is definitely cursed and it is cursed by the feelings of Palewal Brahmins. It is cursed by the agony of the parents whose daughter Salam Singh wanted. It is cursed by all the priests and all the village owners, the house owners, the people of village who never wanted Salam Singh to lay a hand on the daughter. You can see the pain which resonates from these walls, from these bricks. This is definitely not haunted, but cursed. I feel sad during those times. If the king of this area would have controlled his ministers, we would have not seen an entire area with a ruined village when people had to leave their home overnight leaving all their memories back and after centuries their beloved home lies in ruin you can see for yourself पसंद आ गई थी तो फिर इन्होंने बोला कि भई हम काले और ब्राह्मण हैं आप दारू मीट काले और कम बच्ची नहीं देंगे बोला मैं दो दिन में बरात लेके आ रहा हूँ और उन्होंने काले वाले दिन समाज था ना पूरा इकट्ठा कर लिया एक रात में काले एक लड़की के लिए एक रात में पूरा गांव काले ये कहानी है बाकी बताते हैं इससे अकाल पड़ा कुछ नहीं पड़ा अकाल एक ऐसा करी थी वो बात है उसके बाद तो नदी जल्दी शोर सी ये सिराम लिखा होता ना आपने नदी का ये नदी का है ना पूरा अच्छा हाँ वो तो आज से डेढ़ सौ साल पहले लुट दो गई थी सरस्वती नदी हाँ सरस्वती नदी हाँ आप है ना उन बुद्धों ने सर कर दिया था ये बताइए ये बताइए सरस्वती नदी का यहाँ चलती थी अच्छा ये तो सिराम लिखा हुआ ना एक बाहर एक बाहर आया था हाँ फिर वो जिस शराब पे दुआ नदी साथ ही होगी नदी भी सुख गई ना हम्म तो शराब का क्या असर पड़ा मतलब उसके बाद वहाँ नदी अभी असर ये है उस गांव में कोई रह नहीं सकता हाँ उस गांव में कोई बस नहीं सकता अगर आप है ना हिम्मत करके एक इतना पत्थर लेके आ जाओ रात को आप पूरी रात सो नहीं पाओगे Bukhar, Nuz Mosin, Sarai, 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 Sarai,
People say that it is haunted. People say that there are spirits, ghosts, and other entities which are present in Guldhara. They feel that there are different kind of energies which you can feel when you step your steps into Guldhara. Till now, I have not felt anything, and I'm sure I'm not going to feel anything. But today, I'll be using two electromagnetic gadgets. which detects any anomalous energy around let's see even for a fraction of second do we get any such reading in our gadgets or on our devices emf devices i'm sure i'm not going to get it i'm 100% sure on that it's just a barren land and ruins of the village now it is the time that we do some reality check the device that you can see in front of me is called as a k2 meter so how does this k2 meter works you can see there are certain lights you can see there are certain readings on this k2 meter the first one on this k2 meter represent the lower earth magnetic field that is the lower emf and as we go into yellow and orange and red it shows heavy electromagnetic disturbance in that area so now we are going to do a reality check by switching on this device this device will turn green showing as usual that every area has lower electromagnetic field or lower variation of electromagnetic field a very feeble electromagnetic field is present across the globe everywhere at any point of time at any given location but if there are any electromagnetic anomalies or if there are any electromagnetic surge you will see a higher electromagnetic reading that is you will see two or more than two lights blinking on this device this will suggest that there is a possibility that there are some energies which can prove or deny that this location is haunted so let's switch it on can you see we have just single light blinking i will also call if there are any energies present in kulhara can you come on this device and make it blink more than one light can you give me two lights or three lights if there are any energies in and around kulhara agar kulhara mein energies hain to is device ke paas aaye और इसमें दो या दो से ज्यादा लाइट चल रहा है नथिंग लेट्स ट्राई वन मोर टाइम कुलधरा के एरिया में या इस जगह पे जहां मैं खड़ा हूं अगर यहां कोई एनर्जी है जो हमसे बात करना चाहती है तो इस डिवाइस के पास आए और इसमें एक से ज्यादा लाइट जलाएं ताकि हमें पता चले कि कुल धरा में एनर्जीज हैं और आप हमसे बात करना चाहते हैं
क्या आप हमसे बात करना चाहते हैं अगर हाँ है तो एक ब्लिंक दे क्या पारिवार ब्राह्मणों का श्राप है हाँ के लिए एक बत्ती जलाए ना के लिए तीन बत्ती जलाए अच्छा तो क्या आप एनर्जीज हैं जो पालीवाल ब्राह्मणों के जाने के बाद अभी हाल फिलहाल में आपने इस जगह पे अपना वास किया है हाँ के लिए एक बत्ती जलाए क्या आप रिसेंट एंटिटी है क्या आप रूहानी ताकत है जिन्होंने हाल फिलहाल में इस जगह को अपना वास बनाया है और कहीं भी ट्राई करते हैं देखते हैं क्या हमें कुछ मिलता है इन पत्थरों में रेडिएशन मिल रही है और कंटिन्यूस रेडिएशन है मैं एक और चीज़ टेस्ट करना चाहता हूँ हो सकता है कि मेरे मोबाइल की वजह से फ्लक्चुएट कर रही है क्योंकि मेरा मोबाइल बहुत इसके पास है अगर मैं दूर जाता हूँ तो मैं देखना चाहता हूँ कि क्या फ्लक्चुएट करती है नहीं ये नहीं कर रही है तो दिस मीन्स इट इज अ चांस दैट इट वॉज फ्लैक्चुएटिंग बिकॉज ऑफ द ई एम एफ of my phone phone is an electronic device and any electronic device taken near to this will cause fluctuations if i go back i do not see any radiation i do not see it blinking i do not see it getting activated let's do another test the device that you see here is another kind of electromagnetic device but this is more sensitive this is going to negate all electronic devices electromagnetic force and it will only capture the environmental electromagnetic force so let's do a test on this what if the k2 meter that was uh giving us lights was due to the radiation of my mobile phone so this test is going to prove everything it will make all the waters clear so let's switch it on let's see if it gives me any reading agar kuldhara mein koi ruhani shaktiyan hain to mujhe is device pe reading de मेरा साइड करती है तो उस डिवाइस के पास आए और इसकी रीडिंग बढ़ाए मुझे हल्का सा भी आप प्रूव करें 
कि आप हैं यहाँ और आप हमसे बात करना चाहते हैं कोई भी एनर्जी अगर कोई धरा में है इस समय और ये प्रूफ करती है कि कोई धरा हॉन्टेड है तो इस डिवाइस के पास आए और इसकी रीडिंग करें क्या आप ये कर सकते हैं क्या कुल सारा हॉन्टेड है इसकी रीडिंग बढ़ाए क्या कोई भी है यहां जो हमसे बात करना चाहता है ना ना सो फाइनली यू सॉ दैट वी डिड अ स्मॉल बट लाइव इन्वेस्टिगेशन इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू विथ आ इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक devices the k2 meter the first device that we used gave a very feeble amount of deflections but to rule out anything i used another sensitive device which was again an emf meter uh which negates the electromagnetic forces emerging out from your device and it only captures the electromagnetic forces in the surrounding so that proved that there was no deflection nothing happened to the ra has no electromagnetic force which are anomalous kulthara has no electromagnetic reading which are anomalous all the electromagnetic readings are in par with any other place it is equal to the readings that you will get in any other place which which is normal hence mythical quest voyager debunks kulthara as india's most haunted location it is definitely india's most cursed place or the cursed village but it is definitely not india's most haunted location thank you bye bye see you in the next episode till then keep exploring <laughs>